Matthew 5, 14. We saw the statement, and we spent all last week really looking at the statement, you are the, the salt of the earth. That's Matthew 5, 13. There's a second metaphor that Jesus uses to speak about the essence, nature, being ontology of those who are citizens of the kingdom. You are the light of the world. And then this phrase, a city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Okay, so let's just think about you are the light. We looked at you, it's on you. Are, state of being, the, there's not another, light of the world against the system, similar to of the earth, verse 13. So let's just think about light. You are the light of the world. I thought Jesus said in John 8, 12, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. It's the last part. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. If you follow him, guess what you have? The light. Therefore, you are the light. Christ in you, Paul says in Colossians chapter 1, the hope of glory. So here it is. It's inside you. It's an old song we used to sing as kids, right? This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine. It's it's a, when I was a kid, we would sing it in a little country church in South Edmiston, New York. And one of the things we would do at the end is we'd sing a verse that said, shine all over South Edmiston, I'm going to let it shine. Shine all over South Edmiston. South Edmiston had like 350 people. Shine all over South Edmiston, I'm going to let it shine. I love that giving a vision for letting your light shine in your locale. See, light helps people see, and right now they're stumbling around in the dark. The nicest thing you can do to somebody who's stumbling in the dark is turn on a light. It's not come alongside them in the darkness. It's not chit-chat with them in the darkness. It's not give them a map in the darkness. It's not even coach them up in the darkness. It's to turn on a light. They need to be able to see, right? The gospel, my favorite description of the gospel. For God, 2 Corinthians 4, 6, for God who said, let light shine out of darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. That's what he gave us. The light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. Now, as a light, you get to give that light to people. You get to shine that light to people. You get to help people in the dark. Don't get mad because they're in the dark. Don't complain because they're in the dark. Don't be ornery with them because they're in the dark. Don't think they're the worst people in the world because they're in the dark. Guess what? You were in the dark. Turn on a light. Turn on a light. Let them see through your life and let them hear from your lips the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. That's our job. The light of the world. Have a great day.